First it was Crash Bandicoot, and now it's KO the Kangaroo. That's right, KO the Kangaroo is back, and he has a brand new game coming out this year. I have been asked if I would like to get some hands-on time, a little sneaky hands-on time with the demo before it launches on Steam, and I naturally said yes. I am very keen to check out this new game. It looks really good from the trailers, and somehow, even manages to make that junior senior song likable <laughs> using it in the trailer. But anyway, let's dive into some K of the Kangaroo. I'll be playing it on PC. I believe it's coming out everywhere though. Let's check it out. And man, check out that. Really cool artwork uh, for the title screen here. Now I know my webcam is covering up uh, some of it, but that's because I have strategically placed my webcam somewhere where it won't interfere with gameplay as much. Um, I have started, I saw the first cutscene, that's it. But we're going in fresh. Um, and yeah, I am really, really keen to dive in here. The artwork reminds me a little bit of Ratchet and Clank, which is not necessarily a, a bad thing. But let's check out our mate KO's new upcoming adventure. No one saw? <sighs> that was lucky. Wouldn't want that on Rootsoup. his personality in his face. Jeez! Where's the rest of you? Work in progress. Old and mystical method. Spirit walking. Awesome! Maybe I can learn that one day. Maybe. But how? Focus. Find the terror. If you need me, I'm here. So, plays well, looks pretty. I am uh, playing this in 1440p. I believe everything's on max. Oh! I don't like that that rolls towards me. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that there. Like a stomp attack. That doesn't look good. Yeah, no, no thanks. Oh, I did get the tallest one. Grabbed a diamond, smashed some barrels. I actually, I played the Game Boy Advance. I think it was Game Boy Advance. I played the Game Boy, the handheld anyway, KO the Kangaroo game more than the others. Oh no, oh no, gimme, gimme, gimme. You see, I was super into my handhelds, handheld consoles in my youth. I think I always saw KO the Kangaroo's GameCube game. Tail attack. Use the tail attack to hit objects that are higher than KO. Alrighty then. <laughs> Sticker. Oh. Real mature. Nailed him. Ah, nailed me. Not a fan of that. Whoa. I've already nearly lost a life. Keep moving. Music's good too. It's not, uh, oh gosh. It's not distracting. Break, break. Okay, I can break those. Hello? Just punch open your door. Oh, you know what? I have been guilty of saying it a lot. And I've seen... 
game press say stop saying this word stop saying that word this game is charming I said it I said it's charming what are you gonna do about it I don't think it's lost all meaning when we actually mean it not just something hollow to say he's pretty cool So again, I am not a KO, whoops, expert. Move. Uh, oh, that's cool. Had like a combo or a parry or something. But yeah, I'm not too familiar with it. So if this is business as usual, let me know. But if there are some elements here that are new to KO the Kangaroo, let me know that too. I really want to know where this game stands. I would love to see what the uh, response from hard, hardcore fans is going to be. I'm just going to just dodge that barrel. Oh yeah, because I used to play a lot of platformer games back in the day but I missed a few I missed a couple of the big ones but Crash has had a new game Ratchet and Clank's had a new game Crash has had his games remastered Clonoa Clonoa's getting a remaster there's a new Kirby coming pretty good time if you're into these sorts of games Punching is really good in this game. I tell you now, I don't. Um, ugh, no, I am stuck under there. I don't know if that was a bug. If I was meant to be that stuck, so I, did it? Did it turn me around? Or am I just back here? Oh yeah, I tell you one. Yeah, it's turned me around. I tell you one game that I wasn't impressed with, despite it looking like it was going to be right up my alley. Despite it looking like it was going to be something I could really get into, was um, Lucky's Tale and Super Lucky's Tale. I just didn't enjoy it. I uh, I tried, and I might go back to it. But right now. If I was to go on record, I'd say, yeah, I just didn't have a good time with that game. I don't know if anyone else did. Oh, ah, no. Let's just double jump all the time, even if we don't need to. These gloves really helped me give those frogsters a smacking. I don't see what the fuss is about. They're just normal gloves. You call a powerful artifact normal? A stuffed toy is normal. Hey. You leave Mr. Beaver out of this. They are pretty fun characters. Don't KO. Uh -uh. Oh, finally. Oh, dear. You don't suffer listening to that boring old fart for a moment longer. Uh oh. So it's true. You really are corrupted. We do not know each other, and yet you are already insulting us? Maybe we shall get along after all. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, and so shatter our hopes once more so soon. Oh, well. I am the Eternal Gloves, and what you see before you is the Eternal World. Well, okay. That's... I feel like we really should have talked a bit more. Uh, yeah, I do. If there's one thing that's sticking out that's not quite gelling with me, it's the voice acting. It's cute, it's charming. But uh, as an Australian, as a dinky die Aussie, I can't even tell you, I, I have no idea. There's, there's no Australian voices in games, and so maybe that's 
you know. For a good reason, maybe everyone doesn't like our voices. How do you nice talk with the gloves? The eternal gloves, mm -hmm. to be precise. What? Yeah, I would like to see more. Your dad did not. Not once. You mean they wanted to talk to me? They chose me. You overestimate. Do not. Be careful with them. In the eternal world, you are alone. <sighs> yeah, I would have preferred an Australian voice actor for KO. Or even an attempt uh, at an Australian accent. What are you saying? Boomerang totems. Hit the stone head and grab an eternal throwable boomerang. That'll do it. Oh. Jeez, I'm a bit rusty on my platformers. So that timer obviously is how long until the platforms revert back to their previous state. Done and done, sir. Let's smash everything. Can I take this with me? Can I just borrow this for a bit? Frog dudes rocking out. Range frogster. That name doesn't really. There could be a better name than Range. Oh, so glad I hucked my boomerang. What are you trying to tell me, crab? back down. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, I got KO'd. Hmm. Let's try that again. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, I don't think that should have hurt me. The timing simply wasn't there. Can I punch his stuff back at him? Yeah. No. Yes? What did I? I don't know if that worked. There may be some bugs in here. There may be some bugs in this Thar demo. Well, that's fun. The letter A. Bring it on! Whoop -a. I can't tell when I have that slow down bassy punch. I broke your drum kit. Yes! Love it when there's something behind a waterfall. Extra life. Okay, that's yeah. Ow! We probably have those in Australia. Probably. 
What am I meant to do about him, though? Just dodge it? That's cool, using um, traps in the environment. Let's biff everything again. Yeah, some things need a little tiny bit of polish. Available in final game. We'll come back for that. Ah! The height of rudeness. I should be throwing boomerangs at those guys or just dodging them. I don't even know if I can... Oh, come on! I don't even know if I can hit that guy. You can't catch me. Is the D. Okay. I wonder if I got I wonder if I got them all. Mm. I just want to make sure I haven't missed something, but uh, yeah, I don't. Th I don't think I have. So, yeah, so far, impressions, I'd say I like the art style, I like the animations. Am I going to drown? No? Okay. Game is accessible for the most part. There's a couple of small um, glitches, small bugs. They're not... They're not ruining the experience for me. I don't like you, and therefore I will leave. What? Stop that! Level. Well, it feels like a big level anyway. Time to go off for something. I don't even know what that. Maybe I was gonna hit the next one. This is a platformer, but it's got some tricky stuff in it. Okay. Done. I hope I get something good from all that. Because, yeah, I've lost a few lives. Punch that into place, punch that into place. Is that it? Oh wait, now I've got to... Rotate things. Punch puzzle. 
as it were. That's cool. Boom. So yeah, that puzzle, um, don't drown again, Nick Bait. Yeah, that puzzle breaks up the gameplay a little bit. Nice. Maybe I'm getting old. I've been so rusty playing some games lately. All right, what's going on here? I've stepped into the frog cantina. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of wanted to just throw this at some frogs. Not ruin the lovely decor. Mm. Yeah, I'm just wrecking everything. I'm getting rid of those frogs this KO. Look, they dropped one of those runes. Should now have enough to open the way to Terra's lair. Okay. Grab it. Yeah, I do like the animations on everything. Completionist in me wants to grab as many things as possible. This really is a step up. This is um, way better than I remember KO being originally. I did not get any scrolls. Okay, that would be the demo. That's it, it's all finished. Okay, that was a quick look at the upcoming KO the Kangaroo game. I played it on PC, but I believe it is coming to all good consoles as well. Plays really well. It looks really good. I enjoyed the soundtrack. I enjoyed the animations in particular. They're really, really fun. Looks to be like a, a really cool game. And there is a demo coming out during Steam Next Fest, which should be anywhere from February 21st to the 28th. I'm not too sure. Wishlist the game, follow it on Steam, and you should get a heads up of when that demo is coming out. Otherwise, follow Tate Multimedia on their social media. I am sure they will make an announcement. But let me know what you thought of the gameplay. Definitely let me know if you think you can do way better than I did, because I certainly got my butt handed to me a few times there. But that's good. You don't want it to be a walk in the park. Uh, you want it to be an adventure in the jungle, and that's what it was. Thank you so much for joining me. For more content, be sure to Subscribe here on YouTube, head to nickbait.com and also check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash nickbait. I am bound to be doing something on some channel soon. But thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.